Hey guys, this is my Draw My Life video. Please excuse my drawing skills that are equal to those of a four-year-old. I was born on September 19th, 1994 in a town near Boston, Massachusetts. Um, I don't even remember the town I was born in, and that's me saying hello world. And my dad actually almost missed my birth because he was eating a sandwich in like the cafe. <laughs> but um, here's my family as of when I was born. So it was my mom, my dad, my brother Colin, and then me. When I was two years old, my dad got a job here in Georgia, so my whole family moved to Georgia, and Megan was born basically as soon as we got here, and we have lived here my whole life. So here I am drawing a girl named Ansley that I met when I was two years old, and she was my first best friend, and to this day we are still best friends, and I love her so, so, so much. When Megan and I were little, my mom would dress us in matching outfits, and I actually really liked it until I got a little bit older, but people always asked us if we were twins, and we were always just like, no, we're two and a half years apart, we're not twins. Okay, so at age two, I started ballet. The, that was me attempting to draw ballet slippers. Like, this is my drawing skills, you guys. Um, but basically, I fell in love with dance, and I did it my whole childhood, and I still do it. Um, I also did piano, gymnastics, and tennis throughout my childhood, and loved those things as well. Okay, so starting off when I went to kindergarten, all I remember really about kindergarten is there was this boy, and he was, like, in love with me, and I was like, I don't like boys. I didn't like him back. He was kind of creepy, so that didn't work out. So then, on to first grade. I actually had my first crush in first grade, and I remember his name was Ryan. I liked him until, I think, third grade, and I just thought he was the cutest boy ever. All the girls liked him. He didn't like me back, but he was my first crush, so it didn't work out either. Second grade, I remember we got Fritz, who was my miniature schnauzer. He passed away last year, but it was like the best thing ever. Third grade, I had the best teacher I can ever remember having. Her name was Miss Chandler, and she was just awesome. Okay, here's me attempting to draw a bed. It did not work out, so I erased it. But basically in third grade, I was practicing dance, and I hit my face on the side of my bed, and I got a big ugly bruise, and now I have a dent in my cheek. Okay. Moving on to fourth grade, there were three boys that I liked and apparently thought I dated in fourth grade. I was obsessed with boys, and I just remember that distinctly about that year. Also that I joined a competition dance company and fell in love with it. Fifth grade, High School Musical came out and was literally the best thing that ever happened to me. And I became best friends with a girl named Anna Maria who moved here from France, and we became super, super close. Okay, on to middle school. Oh, the lovely, awkward middle school years. So I met new friends, still did dance, got my first boyfriend. The most we did was hug. Um, and then seventh grade, that's like all I remembered from sixth grade. Seventh grade, Anna Maria moved to New Jersey, and it was really sad, but we kept in touch, and we still keep in touch to this day. All throughout middle school, I was really close with a small group of girls, and it basically consisted of me, Ansley, who I told you guys about already, um, my friends Megan and Isabel as well, and we were best friends, and we literally thought we were the girls from the clickbooks. <laughs> we, we were not. For my 13th birthday, my mom took me on a surprise trip to New York City, and I literally fell in love with it, and I was like, I'm going to college here, I'm moving here, I love it here so much. And then, let's see, um, in seventh grade, I also got braces, which for some reason I wasn't even mad about. I was like, yay, I'm going to have straight teeth, but I started to hate them. So moving on to eighth grade, I started doing cheerleading, and I loved it. I was a fly, and I basically quit ballet, tap, and company, and just did jazz dancing. I got a Facebook, which I was way too obsessed with, fell more in love with makeup and fashion, and also we got Tika. Now it is time for high school. So in high school, Megan and I got super, super close, and I forgot to draw hair on Megan, so I'm sorry, Megan. Uh, but we became, like, best friends. And in ninth grade, let's see, I did cheerleading. I cheerleaded for football and basketball, which my drawing cut off. But I also discovered YouTube and the YouTube beauty community in ninth grade, and I fell completely in love with it. Some of the first girls I watched were Blair, L, um, this girl Aubrey, Bethany, 
and Tiffany, so if you recognize any of their usernames. But um, I got my first job as well, which I was very happy about. And then I decided to make my first YouTube video. After a few months of watching, I was like, hey, I'm going to do this. And can we please just have a moment for like how much I'm struggling drawing this? You guys, like, what is this? <laughs> um, I was apparently filming on a lawn chair. But that's how Beauty Baby 44 was born in August of 2010. I started filming videos in my closet. I literally didn't tell anyone except my sister and then um, the end of ninth grade was not good for me I still had my braces and I had a ton of acne my skin was breaking out really really bad at this point and I was just so embarrassed about it going into sophomore year I became really really into YouTube I remember I hit a thousand subscribers at the beginning of sophomore year and I became a YouTube partner which means I got a little bit of money from my videos and I thought I wanted to be a neonatal nurse which is a nurse that takes care of babies and then I was like I would have to wear scrubs every day so uh, no I don't really want to do that but um, I actually got fired from my first job but it was okay because three weeks later I got a job at Old Navy and I worked at Old Navy for a year. So around this time I also met through YouTube a girl named Christy or Strawberry Electric 48 as you guys might know her and she just like reached out to me and we decided we were gonna be friends YouTube friends and she introduced me to all these other girls that made YouTube videos that were really nice and my age and we all became best friends and I went to IMATS New York City this year for the first time and met some of them and hung out with them and it was just amazing. Then when I got back to school a few weeks later there was this girl and she told everyone about my YouTube channel. She found out about it and one of my ex best friends was like that's really funny and she made fun of me and it was hard on me but I was kind of just like whatever I love YouTube. Um, other than that I just remember doing jazz, YouTube, cheerleading and working sophomore year and then the summer came around and my brother went off to college at the end of summer look at me trying to draw a college like what is that <laughs> um, but Megan and I actually got super super close I think because of that and we were like the only two kids in the house Junior year rolled around and at this point everyone basically knew me as Beauty Baby. That's what my nickname became and it wasn't in a make fun of way. It was just kind of like you're the girl that does YouTube videos way. I signed with Style Hall. I made varsity basketball cheerleading and I was so busy. I was taking AP and honors classes, doing YouTube full time, cheerleading, dance, working at Old Navy and I was basically just superwoman this year. Um, I eventually quit working at Old Navy because I didn't really need the money anymore and I didn't didn't have the time. I went to IMAX New York again and I participated in the Next Face Awards but I actually had to drop out because I got mono and I was super sick and I also got super bad acne again and it was terrible. But um, summer 2012 my skin finally did like eventually clear up um, at some point over the summer and I hit a hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube which was one of the best days of my entire life and I flew to LA for the first time to go to LA IMAX and also to tour a college that I may be going to and I just fell in love with the atmosphere now it's time for senior year. I remember we got Lula at the beginning of it and I got blessed because I took a bunch of hard classes throughout high school so senior year I got to have an easy schedule and do the school work program which allowed me to come home early every day to work on YouTube. I did end up quitting cheerleading because I just didn't have time but I started doing tap and still jazz dancing and I did five college applications, was super busy with those thought I wanted to go to school in New York, had like a change of heart, um, started traveling a lot for YouTube. I went to LA, Chicago, New York, San Francisco, LA again, Florida, New York, Minnesota, all this year for YouTube. And I even got to go to New York at Christmas time with Christy, which we checked off of both of our bucket lists. Meanwhile, in my personal life, I had a serious, terrible fallout with 
a friend who was the friend I talked about earlier that made fun of my YouTube and then we became close again and then we basically hated each other the entire year and we're pretty much good now but it was just stupid drama. Um, but YouTube was going absolutely amazing for me. I started working with brands that I never dreamed that I would be working with and it was just awesome. I got to have meetups in all of these places this year and it was just absolutely amazing. But I still was unsure about college. I got into every school I applied to, which was awesome, but it left me with a lot of choices. I decided I didn't want to go to New York, and I did want to go to L.A. and the school that I fell in love with over the summertime. I bought my own car this year. That was me trying to draw it. It, it didn't work out, but her name's Naomi, and she's my baby. Um, I met new friends and became close with old friends. And what else? Oh, those are just me drawing. That's just me drawing some of my friends. <laughs> I also started talking to this boy that I had a crush on for like basically all throughout high school, but he turned out to be kind of a jerk, but it was whatever. I also got really into astrology and my sign. I don't know. I just. I just did and I also realized that I wanted to do a career in beauty and fashion and that's what I wanted to major in in college as well um, I met some amazing people this year who inspired me to follow my dreams and just never ever give up on them I also recently reached 500,000 YouTube subscribers which is insane and I went to prom and had the time of my life now I'm graduating high school May 23rd and it's so surreal. You guys have literally been with me through it all and now it's ending. I'm so excited about my new life but also nervous. I'm nervous to leave my home for the past 16 years, be on my own, not have Megan, my best friend, living right down the hall. Nervous I won't like school but I won't let my fears stop me from pursuing my dreams. Before I leave, I plan to have an Atlanta meetup and travel to Chicago in June with my YouTube friends and hopefully have one there too. I leave July 5th to start school and it is so soon. I will continue making videos in college. I don't have plans on stopping anytime soon. The fact that I get to call what I do a job amazes me every day. I don't mean job in a bad way. What I do is a dream job for me. I am thankful every day that at the age of 18 I can fully support myself. Not many people can say that. Enough to go to school out of state, something my family couldn't otherwise afford without many loans. YouTube is the reason I can go to school where I want to study what I want to do. I feel so incredibly lucky and blessed to have you all in my life supporting me. I can't tell you how often I wonder, what did I do to deserve this? I'm happier than I've ever been in my life, and so much of that happiness comes from you guys. If you want to do something, do it, no matter what anyone thinks. Follow your dreams, because when they come true, it's worth all the time and work you put in. This has gotten super cheesy, but whatever. I love you all. Thank you. On to my next journey in my life.